the state of Kuwait is continuing its path to execute the seven pillars of its 2035 vision. With the aim of reshaping the country into a hub among regional and international countries via its development projects. One of the major projects in the 2035 vision is the development of Al Jahra Pumping Station project at the heart of Saad Al Abdullah. Today's project sheds light on a highly developed smart process which in turn acts as an important part of the development plan of the state of Kuwait. The main object of Al Jahra Pumping Station project is to treat sewage wastewater, pollution, as well as sewage odors through its wastewater treatment plant, ending with delivering filtered clean water for the purposes of irrigation and agriculture, therefore, preserving the environment while serving the entire Al Jahra governorate. Jabir al Ahmed Siri, Al Andalus, Slebichat, and Al Qairawan. As we mentioned, we are receiving sewage water that produces odor and harmful gas that uh, may affect the environment and the resident area around us. 
So by using control of the system, we can detect and clean the gas. The role of the Jahra bombing station is to transfer the collected sewage water to Chebd sewage treatment plant and contribute to the preservation of the environment in Jahra. The station is located in Saad Al Abdullah area and it is uh, total area is 38,575 uh, uh, square meter. Maintain and keep going the station operation, limiting the impact of sewage water on human and plant safety. The station serves the area of Al Jahra in addition to the city of Jabir Al Ahmed, Al Andalus, Muslaybakhat, Al Doha, and Al Qairawan. The station gets the sewage water uh, coming from this area through deep a gravity line, and then it is uh, bumped to the sewage treatment plant in Chibd. Al Jahra pumping station receives sewage water from those areas through gravity pipes and pumps it to the sewage treatment plant in Kebd, which triple treats and then sends it to designated areas inside this huge project, ending with delivering it to the treated water distribution stations for the usage of irrigation and agriculture systems. This station is located at a depth of 30 meters underground as it treats the received wastewater through mechanical networks by first receiving the sewage wastewater with its six mega pipes extending all the way to its underground construction and walking through its planned path to Kebd station for the filtering process. The process of collecting and receiving the sewage waste water in Al Jahra pumping station project goes to several stages, starting from pretreatment methodology, primary treatment, and concludes with the disinfection process. The station is located in Saad Al Abdullah area and serves the Jahra Gafar Nuret in addition to the city of Jabr Al Ahmed and east of areas of Ab Andalus, Slebukhat, Doha, and Qairawan. The station receives sewage through deep graffiti pipes lungs with a diameter of 2,200 millimeter, where there are three isolation gauge on the external lines. These gates are operated with an electric motor to control water quantities in entrance to the station and use it to isolate the station in emergency cases. The station can contain of six main bombs of high capacity. Each bomb's capacity is 1,000 8 liter by second and the motor capacity is 1750 kilowatt the station of six main bombs of high capacity each bomb's capacity is 1008 liter per second and the motor capacity is 1750 kilowatt the sewage 
water enters the station from the main gauge into four channels that distribute water to two wet well. Each channel contains on the one bar screen and a grate remover system, which separate the sand and the grate. The station contains an odor control system and the three high capacity backup generator that are always ready to work in case of mean power outage. The station is bumped to the covered water treatment plant through two main discharge lines. Each line in 1,400 mm diameter and equipped with a three surge fissile tank to control the water hammering inside the lines. The project scope is to carry out developing operation and maintenance of all project facilities. Uh, the project uh, serves Al Jahra area by uh, keeping it free uh, from uh, sewage pollution. Zooming in the depth of Al Jahra pumping station to reach the chemical warehouse, as two components are mainly used in this process namely chlorine and ammonia. Smell produced by sewage water are eliminated by collecting harmful gases uh, by using special gas treatment device such as a chemical scrubber. Uh, then we will be able to uh, wash and clean the gas. And also we're using a chemical agent such as NaOH and NaCl to make sure all the gas are completely clean. In addition, we have H2O sensor are distributed all around the station. The station facilities are operated and uh, follow up through control room by SCADA system, which control and record all st st station events. And all equipment uh, is uh, controlled in safety manners and continuous. What is the future of Kuwait? It's an expertly designed airport, offering a world-class travel experience. The expansion of our healthcare sector, increasing access to high-quality facilities and services. And an infrastructure that transports people and products at a greater speed. The future. It's using new technologies in construction and intelligent roadway design to build smarter, more efficient cities that support a strong private sector and meet the demands of our growing population. We're building for the future. The future of Kuwait starts with you. Through the usage of the previously mentioned components, pollution and odors resulting from sewage wastewater can be easily disposed and recycled, thus acting as a vital part of the integrated system 
of Al Jahra Pumping Station project. This vital project collects sewage wastewater from the residential areas with the concept of deep gravity as the design capacity of this project is 250,000 cubic meters per day through a gravity diameter of 2,200 millimeter at record speed. I would like to uh, talk for uh, Zahra Bombo Station. The design of the Zahra Bombo Station uh, to 50,000 cubic meters per day. The currently flow the station 1,500 uh, cubic meter uh, per day. After the process of collecting the sewage comes, the pumping point of the sewage wastewater, which moves directly to the Kebd Wastewater Treatment Plant. By reaching Kebd Wastewater Treatment Plant, the sewage wastewater is triple treated. Afterwards, the treated water is delivered to distribution stations for the usage of irrigation systems in agriculture and other fields. In a protective farm in uh, Abdili and near the area. Uh, and in, in uh, landscaping and the streets. We have preventive and corrective electrical, mechanical, instrumentation, civil and landscape maintenance. The treated water is utilized from Al Jahra pumping station to irrigate Al Jahra area. Al Jahra Reserve and the internal irrigation of the station itself. The station has four water entry channels equipped with a mechanical filter, a sand room, and a lifter for materials extracted from the mechanical filters. There are also four main pumps according to the design, including three service pumps and a backup pump. In addition to our normal duties, one of our mission as a supervising team is to inspect and check external gates and pressure lines. What is the future of Kuwait? It's an expertly designed airport offering a world-class travel experience. The expansion of our healthcare sector, increasing access to high quality facilities and services. And an infrastructure that transports people and products at a greater speed. The future. It's using new technologies in construction and intelligent roadway design to build smarter, more efficient cities that support a strong private sector and meet the demands of our growing population. We're building for the future. The future of Kuwait starts with you.
in terms of the process of isolating sand. Bar screens are built in the inlets of the pumps and are used to filter the water in order to facilitate its passage through the pumping lines of kept station. This process can help in stopping larger items from getting to the station and hurting machinery like pumps. The station is also equipped with three diesel generators that can operate automatically in the event of a power outage. Our work during the COVID-19 pandemic is to follow up and supervise the operation and maintenance the station 24 hours per day. Ensure all employees and required safety issues. Al Jahra Pumping Station project, equipped with a system for treating pollution and odors, is considered one of the environmental development projects in the country, which treats sewage waste water.
the state of Kuwait ranks first in the Arab region and fifth globally in regards of sewage services, as the Ministry of Public Works vows to put in full efforts towards developing the sewage system, which acts as one of the pillars of the desired development plan. This long process mechanism of cleaning and filtering sewage wastewater, manifested by Al Jahra pumping station, is a significant project that highlights the importance of sustainable development plans, further steering the development plan of Kuwait's 2035 vision towards the formation of new Kuwait's.